guys, how's it going? Lee John Blackmore here, Super Easy Guitar. Welcome to another Super Easy Guitar tutorial. This is Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. I just want to say thank you so much guys to everyone that subscribed to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it and I really appreciate the feedback as well. I've had lots of requests for this song recently, that's why I've picked to do it. However, I, I'm not going to ignore everyone's requests that you send me in. It's just I can't do them all guys. I only do one lesson a week. So I'll try and pick the one I've had the most requests for. I'll do my best to get around them all, okay? Keep them coming in. Uh, let's get straight into this, all right? There's a few lessons on YouTube with this already, so hopefully um, I'll try and do it a little bit differently. I'll break it down a little bit differently. So this is based around a power chord. It's just four chords of the same chord shape. Now you'll find if you learn to stretch with this power chord shape, there's a thousand and one songs you can play just using this one chord shape, all right? And this is a great example. So before we get into it, quick uh, start on power chords. When you're playing these power chord shapes, uh, they're just over two strings, really. I mean, you could play them over three strings. But when we're playing the power chords, you only want to play the strings that you've got your fingers on. So in this case, when we're doing the first chord, I'm just playing the bottom E string and the A string. So the others, where I relax my fingers over here, they don't ring out. So I can play the whole guitar string and we get no sound ringing out. That's not, you know, that's pretty good practice for, for, for electric guitar and, and acoustic. If you wanted to ring them out, obviously you have to like crab your fingers or bridge your fingers around so they didn't touch the other strings. So if you get in that kind of tone, then you're, you're playing all the strings instead of just the two strings you've got your fingers on. You might get this, you might hit an occasional G string. Okay, and that's because again, you're just strumming too hard or too far. You want small movements on the strumming, okay? So it might look like on the record, yeah, and he's doing that, but he's muting the other strings so they don't ring out. So when we have to learn to do it, all right, the really small strokes to start off with until you get used to it. And gradually you'll pick up the technique where you'll be able to just hit all the strings and it's still gonna sound good, all right? So that's just something to bear in mind. So first finger, first fret on the bottom E string, the sixth string, and the third finger, uh, third fret on the A string, the, th the fifth string, all right? Now, sometimes I see people using their pinky there. That's okay if you really can't stretch that third finger, but if you're a super beginner, try and stretch that third finger because it's gonna come in handy later on because we're actually gonna use the pinky to play uh, another string underneath and, and you know maybe some different positions and stuff like that, okay? So really try and stretch on that third finger. So um, I'll show you the positions, then I'll get into the rhythm, all right? So there's your position one, which is F. Then the next chord is really easy, it's B flat. You just move that whole shape over to the next string. So now my first finger's on the A string, still on the first fret, and my third finger's now on the D string on the third fret, okay? And it sounds like that. Uh, so that's B flat, and then it goes to a G sharp, all right? Which is now first finger on the fourth fret on the bottom E string again, that same shape, all right? So there's always a fret in between and the fingers, the third finger is always on the next string, all right? So now the third finger is on the sixth fret on the A string, on the fifth string. And yeah, for the last chord, which is just C sharp or D flat, all right? Uh, we just move the fingers over to that next string, first finger, still in the uh, fourth fret, Okay, and now the third finger is still in the sixth fret, but now on the A string and the D string, okay? So, the rhythm, yeah, down, up, down, chucka, chucka. Down, up, down, chucka, chucka. So, how am I getting that chucka, chucka sound? Well, all I'm doing, I'm relaxing my fingers uh, in position where they are, okay? So if you just put the fingers down and squeeze, you get that chord and then take the pressure off. It just stops, right? And you get that chucka chucka. If you're getting any kind of noise, 
it means you're pressing down too hard. You really just have to relax your fingers, but keep them in position. So to squeeze on, down, up, down, then down, up, down, up, with chucka, chucka. Okay, so that's the first bit. We move over to the next chord, so our fingers just come over to that B flat off the A string. Now, the hardest bit here for a beginner is to avoid this bottom E string, all right? Because you don't want to play that one on the next one. So you have to try and avoid it. You're just going to do a down, down there, all right? Or what you, sometimes you see me doing is put my thumb over. And what I'm doing, I'm just touching the bottom E string with my thumb. And that stops it ringing out. Okay, alternatively, you can uh, just touch with your first finger, you can lay it and just touch it on the bottom E string. And that'll stop it ringing out as well. Okay? It's whatever you prefer. So, let's go back to the beginning. So that's the F on the bottom E string. Down, up, down. Relax. Chukka, chukka. Which is down, up, down, up. Move the fingers over and then play it. Down, down. Remember, avoid this bottom E string. And to get that nice clean sound, it's not ringing out at the end, right? So to get the nice clean sound, you're just relaxing your fingers straight after you've played down, down. Which is good because then we're gonna to move to the third chord, fourth fret on the bottom E string again. And we play the same rhythm, down, up, down. Chukka, chukka. All right, same thing again, just relaxing my fingers. And then move the fingers over to the next string. And play a down, down. All right, which is now the C sharp or the D flat, however you want to look at it. All right, which is the fourth fret. So played very slowly. Down, up, down. Chukka, chukka. Move. Move, down, up, down, chukka, chukka, move. Let's do that again slowly. Two, three, and. So sometimes when he's playing really fast, when he comes off that last chord, you can hear a quick opening there. Okay, he actually does it on the second chord as well. And what he's doing there is because he's playing so fast, when he brings his fingers off, they're actually helping the, the strings underneath ring out, okay? So it's all these little nuances. I mean, this should be played on electric guitar, right? We're playing it on acoustic at the moment. But it's all those little things that actually make it sound like the original track. Okay, so just work on that nice and slowly. Uh, that, so then it goes to the, you've got the bass line comes in. So if I was playing this on my own, So I'll just play through those chords again, okay? And what I'm doing, I'm palm muting, all right? We've talked about this before, so I'm just resting this part of my palm over the strings. So instead of... Okay, it just stops it ringing out. So then I'm just playing that first chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, change. One, two, three, four. on the record you've got this going on or if you watch him live he actually does it in this position up here I guess because he finishes the chord there okay so it doesn't matter what finger you use here really but first finger is going to be on the fifth fret on the G string on the third string and then second finger is going to be on the sixth fret on the B string Okay, so that's how he does it live. 
Alternatively, nice easy way of doing it is putting your finger across the first and second string on the first fret. Okay, so when you know when the bass line's running. Okay, or the same notes. All right. So that's that, and it kind of doubles up as well. I'll always say this to everyone, guys. Go away, listen to the track, try and play along with it. Listen out for what the guitar's doing. Half of guitar playing is listening. If you can, if you can hear what you're actually playing, if you can determine where your mistakes are, it's going to improve your playing much quicker. So work on trying to play along with the tracks as well. All right. So there's that bit, and then we've got this. Um, Okay, which is kind of like a little break in between and there's the guitar solo. I'm not going to cover the guitar solo today, so uh, let's just stick to the chord. So we've got this. There's actually a bend there. I've got really heavy strings on this guitar, so it's really difficult to bend. Alright, if you're playing on electric guitar or you've got lighter gauge strings, that's a lot easier. But So that should be a bend there, right? So the first chord's F. Alright, that's just a down down. Then I'm leaving my third finger on and I'm bringing my first finger off to get that open E. And then back on. Then sliding it one fret, so now I'm on the second and uh, fourth fret. And there's two there, so let's do that again. Then first finger on the second fret on the third string, and you can bend that up. Hey. Hey. Bend up or bend down, it's whatever's easier, okay? Then we got this. So let's have a look at that. So, so far, back to that first chord, F. So it's F. First finger off again, and then back on. Okay, let's do that again, so. Slide that whole position up to the 6th fret. Then 4. Open E. Okay, so full speed we've got... And there you go, guys. That's all the parts for Nirvana Teen Spirit. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really, really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you guys sending me feedback and sending me emails, which are great to read, and sending me the requests. And like I said before, I'll do my best to get around to them all, guys, okay? Keep, keep them coming in and keep on the feedback. Really appreciate it and enjoy. I'll see you next week.